introduce the topic of the refugees in the world, and now in my turn, I'm going to focus on Afghan refugees, and I'm also going to tell you a story of Mustafa, and at the end, I'm going to give a small conclusion. So, Afghan refugees are nationals of Afghanistan, uh, that they left their countries uh, as a result of wars or persecution. And the Soviet war of Afghanistan had started in 1980s, uh, and a lot of uh, Afghans flow their country, uh, uh, flow their country, flow Afghanistan to neighboring countries like Pakistan and Iran. And in 1989, the Soviet war ended, and these refugees started to started to return uh, to their homeland. But in 1992, a major civil war began in, in Afghanistan and the Mujahideen uh, uh, took over the control of Kabul, that is the capital of Afghanistan. And Afghan uh, again started to flood to other other neighboring countries like, like I have said, like Iran and Pakistan and also Europe and India. And now that I have explained the, the context of this war and why Afghanistan fled from uh, Afghan flood from Afghanistan to other countries, now I'm going to tell you a story of Muqtaba. So Muqtaba was born in Iran, and their parents are Afghans, and they had to, uh, to flee their country because of the wars that were in Afghanistan. And uh, they, uh, their first country of protection was Iran. They, but unfortunately, uh, life in Iran was very hard. Uh, they couldn't uh, he and his siblings. They couldn't go to school. Uh, even he told me that uh, their parents uh, they couldn't uh, drive their a car or a motorcycle, or they, and they couldn't get a house a house there in Iran, and they couldn't even uh, buy a SIM card uh, to go. Uh, that's why her father. Uh, 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 went to Germany, her father and her three sisters, and he, his, uh, his mother, and his mother, they went to Turkey. But, uh, but, uh, but the police in Turkey, they captured them and they sent them back to Afghanistan. And from Afghanistan, they entered to Iran. And they have stayed like one year in hey, Iran, man. and they they and then uh, they went to Turkey. They moved to Turkey, and they stayed in Turkey for for almost uh, two years. And uh, in Turkey, so they they were uh, finally they could study in Turkey because they couldn't study in Iran. But in Turkey, they could study, and while they were studying, they were also working. Uh, Cutting, uh, cutting the, the chicken heads. And possibly, uh, after that, they went to Salonik, a city in Greece. But life there also wasn't very, uh, very good. They, they lived a month in a tent, and they also they couldn't eat food there. That's why they moved to, to Ionina. And in Yonina they meet uh, they meet Oram, uh, Yonika, and Nasty, the girl that is going to talk about Yonika. They uh, meet them in in Habibi Works, that is an intercultural center for refugees. And he told me that life there was very good. They helped uh, they helped him a lot. And they teach him English and also he told me that Oran taught him a lot of maths. And but even if life if life in Greece in Yonina was very good, they weren't they weren't 
happy enough because they were separated from his father and his other three sisters. That's why thanks to a process called fa uh, the, the family reunification, they, uh, they got permitted with her, her, her father and his father and his three sisters. Um, and they have waited like uh, three years in uh, waiting until the the legal documents were ready uh, to can move to Germany. And now the the family is reunited. They all live in the house in Germany. And Mustafa uh, uh, now he. He goes to Germany courses because he told me that he, he has to reach the VMO uh, level in Germany to come study in a school in to come study in a school in Germany. And in the and in the future he wants to be a machinery mechanic. So that was the story of Mutzelon. And with that refugee story we can conclude uh, how hard is the life of the refugees and how they suffer to, uh, to reach a country where they can live better and safe. And as the conflict continues in, in Afghanistan and, and other countries like, for example, Palestine or Syria, uh, this country deserves our support uh, more than ever.